Yeah, I think expectation, you, expectations are pretty high there. There's no doubt. Uh, there's pretty much we return every skill kid, um, two to three offensive linemen, three guys that started on the offensive line at some point. Um, you know, there's some young kids coming up, but they've worked hard and then they know it's their turn. And, and uh, we, our expectations are pretty high. So it's, uh, it's a year that we, we're, we've been looking forward to, so. And it's year two for you. How much difference does that make to guys kind of know what to expect? It makes a big difference in practice. We even talked about that, you know, the every day, the work ethic every day should be really good because of that. You know, the fact that every day they come out here, they know that uh, they know what to expect and they know to be ready to work and, and get better each day. So. You don't often have the luxury of having two guys on your line that have been there for three, four years. Yeah, those guys are really um, have become great leaders. Garrett Jester, uh, he had to sit out a couple practices, uh, but he was there coaching um, and and get and making the other kids around him better. And John Davidson, he, he does he does it as well. You know, they're both have become vocal leaders and lead by example, and just good kids to have on the team. Justin Jack is a name that most people in the area know, not just for his quarterback abilities, but also as a safety. Yeah, Justin's a gr just a great athlete in general. He's an all-state basketball player as a sophomore. Had a great freshman and sophomore year in, in football, and unfortunately had it kind of cut in half, just a little under half last year. Played in six games, but only played about four games. Um, he has made a lot of strides. His arm strength is up. His speed's better. Um, he is uh, throwing the ball really well, and it's because he works hard every day. I mean, he... He really comes in with that mindset to get better, and he does it every day. I mean, he really leads by example in the weight room and wherever it might be. So he's earned everything he has. So Still got 10 wins last year despite that, but you know, a guy like Tyler Henshaw has to completely change his role, and now he can go back to doing what he does best. Tyler's a pretty special athlete. He, when he gets his hands on the football in space, Miller's a good football team. Uh, we saw it last year. We moved him to quarterback. I think he was kind of getting used to that, having his hands on the ball every, so it's been kind of hard for him to go back, but, um, you know, he, he obviously accepts his role. He loves being a receiver. He works at it every day, and he's a, he's a real threat when he gets his hands on the ball. We just hope to, to be able to get it into his hands as many times as possible. Fortunate thing, we have several options, so I feel like it's going to be real difficult for people to double team or concentrate on him because there's a lot of other guys out there that have... Uh, that, are, that can do some good things with the football as well. So, battle tested right off the bat with uh, the regional rival Greenfield. Greenfield beat us last year. They returned some some uh, some good players, and uh, they've got a great tradition. They've won uh, probably 40, 50 games. They pretty much have been averaging about nine or ten wins a year for the last several. Um, they have a new new coach, new system this year, but I know Coach Ellis will have them ready to play and. And uh, you know we've already, you know we've already been talking about it. We expect a really tough game. I just uh, I go out there and and people hitting each other, flying around the field. Um, you're just gonna have to make fewer mistakes, play hard, play smart, and uh, and get after them because they're gonna come after you. So. I suppose you throw Pierce City and Lockwood into the mix, and you talk about a pretty strong Class One conference. Yeah, last year the conference was probably the best it had been in a long time. Uh, if maybe ever, I think they had, we had, I think six out of the eight teams went to the playoffs last year in our conference. Uh, Greenfield and Miller actually split the conference with one loss apiece and uh, several, like I said, six teams made it. So uh, there's not a lot of just games we can show up and we expect to, you know, we're going to have to come in and ready to compete every week. So we play Hogan, Wep Hogan Prep week three, so that'll be a big test as well. So.